All righty, here we go. Good morning. Going, 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 back, going back, 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 back to bed. bed, bed, bed. bed. Don't be such a baby. What? You got plenty of sleep yesterday. Don't be such did, a baby. Actually. You're right. You're absolutely You're all bright, right. All bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Me, on the other hand, I did not sleep well last night. Uh, I had that fun thing where you wake up, you know, in the middle of the night, and then you start thinking about life and death and have yeah. an existential crisis. You know, yeah. that's wonderful. At yeah, that's fun. Morning, right? Those when are good think, times, actually. Yeah. Like, brain, I get it. I'm going to die someday. Yeah. Some point, at some point, my parents are both going to be gone. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. At two o'clock Thanks, in the morning. Brain. Thanks, Brain. It's fun. So, hey, yesterday, actually, and you know this because I texted you back at the time. Dude, I think I slept till like 1230. Yeah. So I got back. I mean, I went to bed at like four. Sunday you should have just stayed up. You should have just stayed up and did the show. That's another thing. that. So I debated that. Actually, I, I, debated, I debated staying, staying up. up. And I would have been fine until like probably like seven. So I've done this before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and around like seven, you're like, why did I do that? Right. And then, and then your sleep schedule is toast. Yeah. Toast. I mean, true. If you could stay up the rest of the day, go to bed at like, see you, go to, bed, you go to bed late anyways, which is wild to me. You go to bed. What? Most nights, 11, uh, roughly 11. Oh, give or take. Dude, I'm asleep. I like, I'm mad when I'm not asleep by nine o'clock. Like mm -hmm. I go and now granted I take Riley to bed and usually like weekends I'll take Riley to bed, get her to sleep. And then I'll stay up with Kiki for a little while longer, watch a movie or something with the kid actually mm -hmm. asleep. But during the week, like I we're upstairs at eight o'clock we're reading and hopefully she's asleep by eight 30 ish. Mm -hmm. And then I'm shortly after. See the problem with that with me is if I go to bed at like eight or nine, I'm up at midnight and then pfft, Good luck going back to bed. Mm. It's like I just drank a cup of coffee or something. It's weird. Uh, I don't. I I don't know how you do that. How you stay up late? I mean, and, and mm. again, you know the whole you need eight hours of sleep. Mm. I mean, sleep is obviously important, but I think there's a window of like I think because like Kiki's the same way. Kiki doesn't need a full eight hours. She almost works better on like five and a half hours. Yeah, sleep. right. Me, I need a solid twelve to <laughs> really be at my at my peak. Is she right a there. bear? Well, yeah, I, I like I like the hybrid. Did you hibernate. just get done with wrestling practice? Like, just, no, no. Why are you so tired? You, you know what it is? Because I spent all my 20s and like early 30s being stupid and staying up late and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And now I'm just like, I just want to I just want to sleep. I want to go to bed. Up. I just want to I want to relax. Mm -hmm. I want to do all this staying up BS. So, you know. Yeah. But you're here now. You you seem you well know. rested. You seem well rested. So yeah. I'm a little yeah. sore, like I said earlier. Hey, another thing too. Yesterday, um, for some reason, I want to put the damn cat in the, in the car, car and just, and just go, go for a car ride, ride with the cat, much like how you guys do it with your dogs. Oh well, yeah, here's, that's a big cat thing. That's a big cat thing. Here's the difference. Yeah, yeah, I have a cat. You have a dog. The dog's like, yeah, take me. I want to go. The cat, you put it in your hands and you like like nudge towards the car. Ah, that thing freaks out dude it shredded my left hand yesterday so much so where it, like i don't know if you can see it but it kind of oh I yeah mean, yeah, yeah, he yeah got i can it. open it up like it that back claw of that i mean i grabbed it you know what i said too and she was right behind me oh my swinging hand you're so stupid you're my so swinging hand i love that you thought that i'm gonna pick up this cat no one in the history of cats said, "Hey, let's take the let's cat for a ride." That's no one. Oh my god! There's no Those one. Claws are sharp, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, damn, it is deep too. Here's a question, Hunter. You ever seen a cat hanging its head out the window of a car? No, nope. because it's not a thing. Absolutely it's not a not. thing. But you, and if you do, it's because it's ready to jump out of the car. You know, there you go. It put the window down and it's ready to die. You're so <laughs> stupid. That's funny, man. Anyway. All right. So anything else you got into yesterday besides trying to, you know, yeah, you no, try no, and no. baptize the cat next after that yeah, or no? Yeah, I, I, I got to heal, man. Well, good to have you back, buddy. We're back on the stream. I didn't do it yesterday. Like I said, yesterday was kind of a mess. And otherwise, it would just would have been me mm -hmm. and my big furry muff talking to myself. So uh, that we, we didn't need that. We didn't need, we didn't need that. Video. That's that's on my OnlyFans. That's a different that's a different <laughs> website. <laughs> Uh, so we're back now. Thanks, everyone. Uh, get it on the streams, and we're going to keep it going right now. It is time for your morning dump.
As always, your morning dump brought to you by Pump. Yeah. Septic. Clean your septic today with Pump That Septic. Call them 269-445-7777. Or visit PumpThatSeptic.com. Yeah, Pump. Damn, dude. Don't. We like them like as a sponsor. We've had them for a long Pump time. That septic. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. They love my cheeky fun songs. They do. Never seen that email, but okay. Great song this morning, Brock. Here's, a, here's, a, here's, a, here's, a, here's an extension on our contract. Oh, oh. Well, uh, anyway, pump that septic.com. We love them. Get it pumped. Get it pumped. Uh, if you got plans to travel to the Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada, mm. please be aware that the grizzly bears there are now a quote awake and active. That's a oh, scary man. thing to see about bears. They're awake and active. Active. Get How active? Away. How active? One of the first grizzly bears reported to have emerged from hibernation was Bear 122, also known as the boss. He's the big boy. Oh, yeah. uh, male grizzly bears are f- uh, first to wake up and then usually followed weeks later by the female bears with the cubs. Mm. A quick safety message before uh, we go. If you encounter a bear in the wild, do your best to stay calm. Do not run because running is likely to trigger an attack response from said bear. Bear question. Go for it. Why is like half the time you can literally stand there in the pathway and the bear will walk right by you? Not it's not it's up to the bear. It's up to the bear. But the other time he'll look at you and you're dead or you're missing an arm. See what we need to realize. And I don't think we think about enough. I don't know how to react. You know, like there's a very small population that lives where there's a, 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 you know, enough bears where it becomes a problem. And for the people that live there, why? Why would you live anywhere where there is an apex predator? Like living in Tornado Alley. Like, like right. your, your house is going to be blown to pieces. Like you're just asking for it. You're asking to yeah. die. I realize it's beautiful probably where you're at up north. There's a lot of like Alberta, Canada. It's a beautiful oh, yeah. area. But you know, the same thing like Montana. You know, it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, we just got we got grizzly bears walking mm-hmm. around. We have to do things. And, and here's the thing, because even though we are top of the food chain in that sense, The bear is an apex predator. The only reason, the only reason we have a leg up on it is because we have guns. But Mm. for the most part, though, and that bear is still going to win. That bear is going to win. win. It's going to kill you. My dad's buddy has a story where he encountered a bear um, in the woods hunting. And he has it stuffed and mounted since. And the thing is like 15 foot tall. And he kind of turned a corner and it was right there. And he said he put. I don't know how many shots into that thing's chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't budge. No. Didn't budge. It kept like charging. You, exactly. You could still get a, a couple shots off for sure. But unless you are you have the wherewithal while being attacked by a bear yeah. to focus, aim, and then get boom, like, boom, like boom. a kill shot. So this guy this guy was at the edge of a ravine. Uh, a ravine. Mm-hmm. Bear pops up. Boom, 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 boom. Put as many shots as he could into the chest. Falls backwards into the ravine. Went down like 10 feet into a back roll. Yeah. Bear rolled on top of him dead. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. That's something from like the Revenant. Yeah. Like, no, I'm good on bear hunting because of I situations just, like that of turning. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. I really like, like, like I have no desire to see like even when we were when we did that trip to Montana with our with our friends, Isaac and Alicia, uh, it, you know, like it was beautiful. It was amazing. But just the constant fear of bears really took away from the trip because here we are we're we're you know out in the backs we're out on these trails we're setting up tents i'm basically just asking to be and i know like ah bears what if there's groups or not i'm not taking that risk you could tell me all the things all the safety precautions there's still a chance that this apex predator is going to eat me alive there's nothing you can do about it you can't climb a tree you can't dig if you don't have a gun, you're screwed. I'm surprised you're not. Well, because you didn't see it, I guess. The El Sable story. We're mm. all fly fishing for six hours in, in a creek. Oh, you always bring this up. Zero Hunter. knives. All I have is, is, is a hook on a fishing pole. And we wrap things up. We literally, like, walk, I don't know, a couple blocks one way. Boom, there's a bear and two cubs crossing the road. I think that was Running just- towards where we were just fishing. I'm like. I think that was just a big dog hunter. I, th- I don't think he had to ask Andy. Andy was with me. <laughs> Even Andy soiled his pants. 
No, uh, you, you, don't laugh. I hate it when you laugh around this situation. You laugh that night. It really Brock, Brock goes, he goes, he, he's around the fire. He's like, you bunch of pussies. All you got to do is bing, bang, bong on some pots and pans and you're fine. Hey. I'm fine. like, fine. yeah. I wish yeah. you would have seen the bear. That that messed you up. I remember you, you know were the only bing bong bangs you're gonna hear are the bells at your funeral. Bing, bing, <laughs> bong. It, it's the church bells you're hearing. Hey, you know what? There's not gonna be any bears at the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, I I do have fun with it because it wasn't me, but terrifying. Like, well, it's the same thing too. Like again, going back to Montana, like. Everyone's like, oh, we could see a bear. I'm like, I don't want to see a bear. No, no, no. Like, I remember we were going down this one trail and there was a handful of cars stopped and like, oh, there's a bear up there. There's a bear. And I'm like, yeah. let's, let's stay go that way the- then. Why are you getting out of the V? Ve- no, stay in the car. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I have no desire. I have no the desire. Thing- it terrifies me the most is when I saw that video of that bear and the hunter and the bear climbs the tree higher than the tree stand that the guy was in and like, yeah. Half a second. Oh, dude, it's not. No, no. What? They, they, no. Dude, that that nine hundred, however heavy they are, bear climbed it like a squirrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It's again, we're in their area. Like I, I like people like to think that hey, we're humans, we got opposable thumbs. Look out! No, we are just living in the bears' area. Okay, and what, you just you hope that you're in an area where there's not more bears than you or angry bears. Yeah. <laughs> What are the yeah. rules again? Oh, yeah. White, good night. Brown, lay down. Lay down and black, fight back. So if it's a black bear without <sighs> cubs. I'm not laying down bear. in front of any bears. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Black bear, post up, pop. All right. Give that bear a punch. They say, <laughs> they say if it's a black bear and you need to fight it, you're supposed to fight like it's the last thing, which it is probably the last thing you're going to la- do. Exactly. You know that, isn't that natural? Isn't that what uh, your fight or flight does naturally? Grizzly bear, you're supposed to lay on your stomach and cover your neck because and play dead because the bear's not going to mess with you. If you're lucky, he'll just kind of paw at you, maybe scratch you a couple times, and then move on. You're going to play dead, then you're going to be dead. Be dead. And then polar bear, if you see a polar bear, you're you're, oh, there's nothing you can do you're about dead. it. Nothing you can do yeah. about it. So, no. Why is that? Because polar bears are just, they're hungry. Uh, not a lot of food they, around there. Right, because there's not a lot of food, and if they see you, they've been stalking you. That's the whole right. thing with polar bears. So, um, yep. yep. Smell blood. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to see another bear. And I've seen two in my life, and that one, and one was in a cage. The other one wasn't. I will tell you, if you're at a nightclub and you see a bear in a leather vest, he just wants to buy you a drink. All right. That's a different type of bear. That's a different type of bear. All right. Just know that. All right. Don't fight that one. Let him buy you a drink. Have a nice conversation with him. That's all. Uh, What about this? (laughs) We can't end on a serious note. Come on now. Uh, This is kind of crazy. A medical milestone was announced in Boston. After Mm -hmm. surgeons transplanted a pig's kidney into a live patient, the kidney was genetically altered and implanted into a 62-year-old man who was in the end stages of kidney disease. Mm -hmm. The procedure was performed on Saturday and took about four hours, and the patient is almost ready to be discharged. Wow. Uh, Kidneys are wild. It's it's, it's a a weird organ. It's just like, eh, you got two of them. I'll take one of yours. Yeah. You know, uh, but they're key to functioning the human body. Absolutely. You don't need two of them. So you can give one up and still live. Yeah. But if you have no kidneys or bad kidneys, you're in trouble. Um, doctors say this could be a game changer in the future uh, for people with dialysis or other kidney diseases or just other, you know, I mean, mm. may, may, uh, pig livers, uh, pig lungs. Hey, pig hey, that's where we get insulin. Insulin's hey, from pigs. From pigs? pigs? pigs pig farms are huge, man. It, it's they do a lot for sure. Hey, real quick, before uh-huh. you're talking about the pig thing, that's absolutely amazing. You know, yeah. you, can, you can get a kidney from a pig now. That's that's yeah. pretty cool. Um, who's voluntarily giving up a kidney? I mean, that's awesome. I'm not take, saying anything wrong about that. I mean, that's a, an, an absolute amazing thing. But man, yeah, like 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 now you're fine. I have two, and I are two fully functioning kidneys, but like we're working right. What about like t- t- ten years down the road? They're like, oh, yeah. It's not like you can ask for that kidney back. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Hey, you know, hey. it's like, hey, I need that back. The one actually went you know rotten. I, I get what you're saying. Like, I, I know this seems like it, it's a shtick, but you're absolutely right, Hunter. It's I'm, like, right, you're, you're willing. 
to give up a body part, an organ, if from a special type body. of person. It is, but you are right though. What's like? What's the rules on that, man? You know, like like what if my one bad one or good one goes bad? Now, can I get it back, or I have to get him another one from somebody or, else? Do you go to the top of the list because you were nice enough because to give a, a kidney? Mm. Take it's you know it's kind of like that dish at the gas station: take a penny, leave a penny. But right, right, right. There you <laughs> go. Get the kidneys. Okay. Look, I've given a lot of pennies to that thing, and yeah, so if I need fifty cents, I'm gonna can take I it. fifty cents I'm out. Take it. Can I take all the pennies? Yeah, that's a yeah, good. That question. would be a question I would ask. But like, I'm yeah. willing to give up a kidney, but. What if I need it like later on in life? Can I, can I get that back? Yeah, right. Like what how how does that work? How does that yeah. work? Yeah. No good deed you, goes unpunished. Would you give say. it up a kidney? It, to certain people, I probably would. Yeah. I'll be honest, I may vet some other options first. Like, All right, right. Are you sure? Only, like, like, like there's no what no, there's no, no other, other options. option except for me. <laughs> You're gonna bring up the pig study. You're like, I just did a radio bit and they said how, that you could use we, a pig. Have we checked any other animal? Like I get right. like the pigs. Let's let's see the. So I would do it for the certain person for a certain person for for a small group of people. For me, you're not on that list. I love Come you. Come on, buddy. man. Come on, you're not on the list, buddy. I oh, love you, but no, nah, we're not doing that. What Actually, if they were like? Uh, what if they were like? Hey, if you want the show to go on, <laughs> this is your option. This is it. Either hunt that, or, or, your, or your buddy is is is. <laughs> The, sh um, the show's over. He's dead, or you give up your kidney. Uh, I think I'd be uh, I'd be enjoying my new life as a uh, uh, gas station clerk, as a as a as a checkout clerk. You know what, you know, I, I hope I I hope one of your kidneys goes bad. No, I mean it's a I big. Mean, you're gonna deal, ask me, though. and I'm gonna be Actually, like, you know what? You know what? I would because you don't want I, these diabetic kidneys. Anyway. I would hold it over your head for the rest of your life. <laughs> You wouldn't, you couldn't get away with anything. All right, all right. nothing. I would be cashing in would, favors. I would even get I'd a tattoo get then. It would say right there. Right there. It said Brock's yeah. dirty kidney. Yeah, right there. Yeah, and I, you know, I'd, I'd always be saying like things like "I'm inside of you" right now, mm -hmm. like things like that. No, I definitely would. I would definitely give you a kidney. I think the benefits outweigh the negatives of me being <laughs> down. Hey, if you're gonna punch me in the kidney, do it on this one. That, this one's. What if I could feel it? You think I could feel it? Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Every time I pee, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell Hunter. I think you need a little more salt in your diet. It's right, a little. Right. Our kidneys acting up. Oh God! Whenever you're angry, you hit it. Like, oh, did oh, you feel no. that? <laughs> yeah. No, okay, yeah, I'd get, I'd change my mind. I'd give you a kidney for sure. I'd give yeah. you a kidney for sure. Anyway, so. you know, wake up in a in an ice bath with, with with a sewing mark right here. What the hell? Yeah, this isn't up to code. Anyway, so all right, what do you got? We got uh, bears, just terrifying bears. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for bears to Stay be away. there. Stay, Stay away, away from bears and. Uh, I'm going to put my kidney inside of Hunter, deep inside Hunter. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be all, in your, I'm going to be up in your guts. <laughs> Anybody else? No, nope. you're getting mine. You're getting oh, mine. Man. You just tell the doctors, let me die. I don't want it. I just want you know it. what has been through this kidney? Do you guys even know? It's, it's gross. It's a gross Is it kidney. supposed to be that color? It's a little oh, dark. I think the other ones are more pink. Travel looks like a California raisin. Like, I don't <laughs> think there's other options, right? Yeah. This is it. He's a match. All right, that's your morning dump. We'll be back. <clears throat> All right. Uh, good morning, Scott. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, David. Uh, no, not the bears in Bridgman. Mm. Those are nice bears. Uh, Which bears in Bridgman? Cage? Isn't, isn't that the school? Aren't they the aren't they the bears? Is that what he means? No, no, those are the Bridgman bees. Oh, are there bears Saint, in Bridgman? St. Joe bears. Um, so there was, was that a cougar or was that a bear? I remember there was, it was either a cougar or a bear years back. And it was on the loose, and they just shot that thing in the face. The I remember talking about that. That's right. And maybe it was a you bear. Were all up in arms. I got yeah, like, all the like, dude, like, just, just tranquilize it. You know, like, it, put it in a truck, you know, send it up. Pink missed the, the, the majestic animal that lost its way. 
Ah, <laughs> humans. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's just didn't think twice. Just, he just minded his own business. Uh, <laughs> uh, Put six yeah. more in it just in case. That's it. Uh, Mike said, I get two and a half to three hours of sleep a day. That's it, Mike? Damn, Mike. Mike, don't you drive a truck? Yeah, Mike. <laughs> yeah, right. More, don't you need a little more sleep, man? Please, take a nap, you know? Uh, Marin and up to Ryan. You. I love that. Marin and Marin. Uh, morning, CJ, you ass. You ass. Uh, that is true, Lou. Yeah, it, right. It's I don't need to be faster than the bear. I need to be faster than you, Hunter. That's it. That's, it. <laughs> That's right. Trip you up. Uh, morning, Chewy. Morning, up, Eric. Uh, yes, I would be an uh, Indian giver. I <laughs> give it back. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna take it back. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? He said Brock would be an Indian giver with his uh, with his uh, kidney. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'd give you a kidney, buddy. I'd Would give you? you a kidney. Yeah. Thanks. I'll take both. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Good morning. 729, the Plan B Morning Show. It's Brock. It's Hunter. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, don't forget we're streaming. Uh, find us on all the platforms. Also, make sure you check out wirx.com. Uh, we're everywhere. We're all over the place. We're all up in you. Much like my kidney, we are all up in you. God. And Hunter, my kidney and Hunter. Get out of me, would you? I don't want it. I don't need it. Uh, all right, let's do it. Time for sports. <laughs> Weird. Uh. As always, sports brought to you by Bud Distributing. Hey, Bud. Bud Distributor getting you stocked up with delicious Bud Light, Tall, Cool, Budweiser's other great drinks uh, for you to enjoy responsibly, of course. Uh, check out all your favorite retailers. They're stocked up because Bud Distributing got you, them stocked up to get you stocked up and stocked and stocked and stocked, stocked up. up. There anyway. you go. Hey, Bud. Hey, pull up the old March Madness brackets. We'll talk about that last. But uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to um, continue on this this uh, gambling thing with baseball. Uh, Make it second, si- second story around it. Uh, we talked a little bit about it last hour, uh, and even the chance of a possible gambling scandal involving the Los Angeles Dodgers superstar uh, is it Shohei, Shohei, Shohei Otani. Don't ask uh, me. <laughs> hasn't diminished the team's chances of winning it all this season. Uh, in the yeah. eye bookmakers, uh, anyway. Bet EMG or MGM, MG what? Bet MGM <laughs> has the Dodgers listed as favorites to win it all at plus three fifty. Oh, wow. But followed by the uh, Braves at plus 450. Uh, the Houston Astros plus 800. New York Yankees are plus 900. And the Orioles are plus 1300. So, hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's pretty wild. So, a lot of gambling going on. Uh, you think he's going to. Hey, let's, let's gamble around this. This is funny, actually. How much do you oh, bet? What are the odds on? Yeah, what are the odds <laughs> that you think Otani was a part of this big scam? How serendipitous! Uh, I mean, God, dude, it would be so stupid on it. You'd like to think that someone's not that stupid. Yeah. Here's the guy that got signed. I believe is now or is now the highest paid baseball player. He got like a crazy contract. Yeah, more money than he knows what to do with. Why? Why are you Why gambling? You, what? Also, look at the history of rich people doing stupid things. Yeah. Like, I, I, you get to a point where I don't know. You feel like you're invincible, and and again, I know, I I know just the basics of this. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he would have been involved. I don't know what the like. The, how it, how do you do it? Yeah, like obviously somebody close to him can't win. And, and if they do, they're going to investigate. They're going to be like, wait, what? wait, and wait. You think, you is how much it, amount of money? And you're like best friends with the guy yeah. he has planned? His interpreter is p- probably pretty close to him, I'm guessing. So Number I don't two, know. He can't no. text anybody. He'd be like, hey, yeah, uh, yeah. put right. this on this. On this, this, on this. On this. That, that, then it's that, tracked. They yep. know. They'll look through that and find it. And nowadays, so so what, what, what does that mean? You got to meet up with them in the, in the alley? Which you really can't do anymore because you have your phone on you. There's TV, there's cameras everywhere. Mm-hmm. I, I just find it almost impossible. It's not like it was back in the day. There's too much tech around. Well, there's too to much tech. And also, there's, there's always going to be someone. 
and you've seen this in every heist movie, every mm -hmm. every uh, gambling spills movie. the beans. There's always one person who's mad about their their share, their cut, their cut, or that they weren't in it, or they get was, greedy and they, want it all themselves. They get more right, and so I think that's just the nature of the beast, you know. So mm -hmm. I, I I just I I don't know. And you'd think too, like he's gonna be in, like, like if his interpreter, the smart thing would have been, he finds out if he knew his interpreter was doing anything, you're out, get out of here, I'm done, I'm distancing myself from you. Go to the press and say I had nothing to do with this. I fired this guy. I wanted mm -hmm. to be very clear. But then it, I don't know, man. I don't know if there's a right answer to this. I just what if what if he says, okay, here's a scenario. He's at like the family party, the family get together, right? Like mm -hmm. the like a couple weeks before. Yeah. All right. And he just simply states, he's like, "Hey, bet on me. I'm feeling yeah, good. Yeah. Like I, 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 I'm gonna be cranking it. Like I don't know. It's like the time of the season, but bet on me because I'm gonna rip the ball out of the park. That's what's gonna happen? Is that wrong to say? Can you say that as a baseball player or any athlete? I should say. In basketball, I'm gonna make it rain tonight. I can just feel it. I have the feeling. Bet on me. No, because I think plenty of athletes have come out and because that's you can't guarantee that. Because he's can't. not saying like a specific amount and do it well, on no, this. But, but you can't, you also can't guarantee that, you know. Can't guarantee what that. What you can guarantee is that, oh, I was off tonight and I just wasn't swinging as well as I'd like to. You can, you can, you can. Uh, yeah, what are the real deep rules of this? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, like if he doesn't say numbers, if he doesn't say which bet, like, can you say that? Like, I think it goes, it, it's, it's more along like shaving points, not performing as well. I know the answer. It's just click. Michael Jordan did it. Michael Jordan played a golf with it, played golf one morning with his agent and his agent beat him in golf that morning. And he left and said, Hey, to his agent, I'm going to get 50 plus tonight. And if I don't, you double your money. You want to do the bet? And he did. And effing Michael Jordan hit 50 that night. After playing two rounds of golf that morning. And, and the agent took the bet because he's like, there's no way. We just played like 36 holes of golf. Mm -hmm. There's no way this dude is going to drop 50 tonight. And he did. So that right there, and that was on whatever the last dance, I think. But you know, you believe. can't you can't guarantee though that can't you guarantee it. Like, and again, that's why it's it's point shaving. It's not point adding. Adding right. Because if you're if you're gonna go into something, it's just talent. And let right, you just you know you're good, but it's not like oh, I'm gonna score you know 50 points tonight. That's a lot harder than saying, hey, we're gonna lose by three. You mm -hmm. know, and then you just keep yourself at that. Or uh, with this guy, I don't know, maybe he'd. Uh, oh, I, I got struck out. You know, mm -hmm. you can, you can't guarantee a homer, but you can guarantee a strikeout. I don't know. I don't know what the last question is. around the whole gambling thing. How much? I, I don't want to say did he or not. I want to say how much did Michael Jordan bet while he was playing? That probably won't ever be a number because I don't know. Will he ever fully admit that he was that what he was betting? I mean, let's be honest. We know Michael Jordan is a big gambler. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what he does. That's that's all he really does. He gambles a lot. So you can sit here and tell me he didn't gamble on his own game. Had to have. Well, that isn't that why his, people think his dad died. No, oh, because he was gambling a, bet from gambling bet. Yeah, that's just so odd. You know, so many like there's weird lines in the sand with this. Just gambling's not good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't end up good for anybody. It really doesn't ever. I don't know. Just thinking about that, though. Michael Jordan, probably every game. I know his dad was that's, for sure. But success, though, that's the thing. Is like it, I, I would understand. It, like, yeah, I mean, it, he's a hell of an athlete. He's a hell of a competitor. But I don't see how you could win anything saying, yeah, I'm going to go out there and score. I'm going to win six championships, you know, right. and everything like that. You know, it's, I, I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. We'd be, like to know those fine lines anyway. You want to talk about pro football? Or you want to get right into March Madness? You got it pulled up? I mean, March Madness is pretty basic at this point. Any team that we would care about here in Michigan mm -hmm. is out. 
Um, my one bracket I literally threw away because Wisconsin got beat, so I'm not even messing around with that. The other bracket I have is still in, but I'm trying to think. Oh, I have I have oh. one with North Carolina winning. With North Carolina winning? Yeah, and they're, they're still in, right? They're still in it? All right, NCAA bracket. Let's see where we're at right now. Oh. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't even, after the first week, I haven't even looked at my brackets. No, I didn't. Even, well, because mine was blown up after that. So let's yep. see. So we got the Elite Eight, right? Is that what's coming up? We're already so, down to the Elite Eight. So UConn, San Diego State, Illinois and Iowa State, Houston and Duke, and NC State and Marquette. NC State is the only double digit left. That's number mm. 11 NC State. Are they, we in like the halftime yet? Because there's like intermission with this tournament. Right. They yeah. like take a few days off You're or like a off. week up. Well, kind of, because this doesn't start until the 30th. And okay. then the final four is on April 6th. So, yeah. So there's a couple days here. There was one game yesterday. So now we wait until Thursday. Or no, wait. I guess you are playing a lot of games. It is pretty frantic. I mean, game after game. Oh, no, we're on the sweet. Sorry, we're on the sweet 16. Because, yeah, you still have North Carolina, Alabama, Clemson, and Arizona, Tennessee, and Creighton, and Purdue. So there's a game. Eight on each side. Yeah, there's games today and or Thursday and Friday, Mm -hmm. and then Saturday, Sunday, and then they take a week off uh, before then, before the next one. Any perfect brackets left? left. I know on ESPN there's zero zero, because that's the one we signed signed up and they tell you right there. They tell you there. So, uh, I I mean, if ESPN doesn't have it, let me look up. Google any perfect bracket left. Uh, Let's see. Two days ago, there are no – as of – as the 2024 men's NCAA tournament enters the second round on Saturday – there's no more perfect brackets remaining among major online prep. Uh, this is where that one guy, what, last year made it to? He, he was like got, the only one left. He got to the Sweet 16, which Sweet was just 16. wild, which was just wild. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, so. Zero perfect brackets. Well, left. dude, it was, we I mean, that, it was, right? when you look at some of the upsets, Wisconsin getting knocked out. Yeah, yeah, uh, fetch those other ones. I mean, it's just, yeah, it, it, it ridiculous. So, mm-hmm. anyway. So, you have zero teams in it left. Huh? No, I still got, like I said, the one I did, I got the Iowa State Cyclones okay. winning it. And then I still got some other ones that are still in it, but not many. Not many. Hey, I the way you. the tournament's going, I feel like anybody can win it. I mean, I mean, we didn't expect Oakland to beat Kentucky, right? right. That that game's going to go down in history. Do you hear about that? Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to butcher this a little bit, but in, in from what I heard, the uh, the dude on Oakland, that was at the shooting guard who just made it rain that night. I think he put up like 40, uh, dribbled the ball like twice. It was just catch and shoot the, the entire night. Yeah. He, he's a senior, played D3 up into his senior year. And he was like, you know, I'm good enough. I'm, I'm just going to apply to, to the, one of these like D1 schools. Got into Oakland. He was an Uber driver. And he would drive to Ann Arbor like every night to go Uber in Ann Arbor. And just some regular Joe Schmo. You know, gets on the team, makes it rain. I mean, the dude can shoot. Obviously, he's a good basketball player. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it's kind of a it's 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 a cool story. The Cinderella story. Cinderella story. And this wow. guy comes and beats Kentucky almost. I don't want to say single handedly, but had a huge deal with it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And just makes it rain that night and beat the number three team that nobody expected. No Oakland one expected that. Oh, that's wild, dude. That's yeah. cool. It's kind that's of a cool, cool. story. I, I love those stories, man. Yeah. You know, he had one year of eligibility left. He's like, I'm just going to take a chance. Let's, do it. Let's, let's try let's it. Do it. Let's give it a shot. Let's give you it know. a shot. One night uh, is just feeling it, man. I still have two years of eligibility left. Should I go? <laughs> should I go relive my glory? What would, what, what would you do that would give you like the best chances? It wouldn't be basketball. No. Wrestling? No. Oh, God. Oh, man, you get worked in college wrestling. I, I tell you what, it, it, too many years of smoking and drinking. I don't oh, know God. If, I got, if I got the lung capacity anymore yeah, to do it. Be? What yeah, would it be? It's different now, wrestling. It's different. Now. Like my, for example, my actually, uh, my my nephew, my uh, nephew just won state. Mm-hmm. Eighth oh, grade. damn. Really? Just won state, eighth grade, eighth wow. grade. Still. Uh, but he wrestled in the, uh, he, he weighed in at 199. Dude, he won state, and he's from Wisconsin, right? Yep. Yep. 
Do you know how big of a deal wrestling is in Wisconsin? Well, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, he's well, some- what you're saying is your nephew can tear your limbs for you from limb to limb. Not yet. I tear still you apart. I still got him. Actually, no. I probably now he's because he weighs the same as me. He weighs one. He weighed yeah. in at like one ninety five, and uh, he won a state in wrestling. Yeah, still an eighth grader. I can still whoop him. I can still get him. <laughs> I've no, never I, met the kid, seen the kid, but just think, by yeah, that title, I, uh, I'm, I'm taking I, a guess. I think he actually just beat my brother in arm wrestling. He beat his dad in arm and, wrestling. And Logan's a big dude. Logan, my brother is much larger than me, much larger than me. Yeah. So, yeah, um, you don't have a chance. You don't have a chance. Um, so, wrestling, no. Um, yeah. Mine would be like, do they have like, do they have bags? or something yeah, yeah that's starting to be yeah remember we read that story about the kids those two kids being the first ever to get full ride scholarships for bags all right maybe curling is that a thing but even yeah curling but you know i just even then though hunter like the way they're trained now it's so much different than how we trade mm-hmm. i would i was gonna say golf but hell no 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 be an embarrassment darts no way darts you threw out your elbow play yeah, yeah, yeah first game oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm not getting any uh, getting shuffleboard. Recruited. Shuffleboard. It's kind of like curling a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Shuffleboard. Uh, euchre. I could go to you. I'm really good at euchre. Yeah. I can play cards. <laughs> you know. I don't know. Nothing physical. Nothing. You play college football. Yeah, I did. A, I did a year at a D3 school, and then I was like, oh no. <laughs> I'm not doing yeah. this anymore. I'm not going pro. Any I'm, any I'm, kind of football after high school is different. Oh yeah. It's a yeah. different game. Uh and just especially too when you know you're not like I I knew I wasn't going pro. It's not like you know what I mean? Like it was right. very apparent. I went to do it because I love football and I thought mm. it'd be it's it was fun. I enjoyed playing it, but yeah, just fresh you know, off of playing too. You're still right, in exactly. shape. You're still you know, you still have that momentum yeah. going a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I learned real quickly because I was doing my radio show, my college radio show at the same time. I was like, I could yeah. sit and play music and, ch- yep. and talk or yep. I could go get my ass kicked. I'm going to go sit and play music. Same thing. It took me one year and I'm yep. like, eh, no, nope. good. I'm, I'm good at just being absolutely battered every weekend. Yep. That's Don't terrible. do it. So long story short, we're not red shirt in anything or we're not we're We're not getting our one more year of eligibility for anything. I don't think so. I don't think we got a chance in anything nowadays. Everybody's so good now. There's athletes everywhere. It's wild. Uh, uh, Beer pong. Is there beer pong? I suck at that. I feel like Shaq. I like Shaq shooting a free throw with that game. And nowadays they're probably so much better at it. It's different. It's different. Nope. Anyway. It's going to continue to do this, I think. Give up on your dreams, Hunter. Give up yeah, on your dreams. I, I did a long yeah, time ago. ago. Long time ago. <laughs> that my 20s. So, yeah. anyway. Well, hey, why don't we save your NFL story for uh, for tomorrow and everything? Give us time to talk. Because also, there's no basketball on tomorrow. We got to wait. So, good enough? Nope. Sounds good. All right. Sports brought to you by Bud Distributing. Hey, Bud. We'll be back. Ugh. All right. Uh, good morning, Amanda. Uh, no, pro wrestling, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would be, my bones would be shattered. Can't hear you. Uh, yes, Super Trucker Troy. Hey. I'm short, all right? I mean, I'm taller than hey. both. Oh, oh, that's it. There you go. Sorry, I forgot I hit the button. I, I know I've had to put mine in aux, too. Because of the bleed through from QIQ. So if I do that again, that's why. But um, I'm taller than Bugsy Malone's. I can make it. I can make it in the pros. <laughs> I can do it. With what? With pro basketball. Hey. What Super Trucker Troy say? I heard Hunter whisper in uh, That's what he was saying. He said Brock couldn't go back and play basketball because uh, they're too short. That's what I said. I'm taller than Bugsy Malone's. Or Muggsy Bo- Bugsy Malone's M- Muggsy Bogues. Jesus Why am Christ. I saying Bugsy Malone? Like the old gangster? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, Muggsy Bogues. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, CJ, I appreciate your confidence in me. Pro fishing. Pro fishing. But no, no, I couldn't even do that. No. I couldn't even do that. It's so crazy because what you look at, like even the fishing guys nowadays, like it is just so much different. And the technology, look at some of these, these pro fishing boats. 
honestly, I think it's kind of cheating nowadays with all of like the, the. So what what are the pro fishermen doing? Obviously, they're they're great at picking bait, knowledge of the lake, how how they fish. Like, is there? It's a lot of luck too, though, right? It is a lot of luck. I technology is taken it to the next level. I mean, you can and you, you can got, weigh that I, luck a little bit, I guess, with, yeah. with with your tackle and your boat and your knowledge and yeah. But still, I mean, that fish has got to be hungry, and it's got to you got to be there at the right time, right, right, right. spot. I just watched one recently of a, a pro guy and literally had like three minutes left in the tournament yeah. and just hooked like a world record bass or something, or yeah. like the tournament record bass. I think and that's was. luck. That's luck I right did, there, dude. Yeah. Right. All right. Hey, we got to go on. All righty. Good morning. 748 Brock Hunter, the Plan B Morning Show. All right. Morning. morning. I'm sitting there talking off air. I'm like, hey, we got to go on. We got to go on. Let's do yeah, it. I'm chatty, chatty, chatty. Uh, Channing Kathy. I know you were gone yesterday, so you know, yeah. you got to get all caught up. But anyway, uh, we're back at it. It is the Plan B Morning Show. Don't forget, we are streaming. Join us on there. Get it on the phone. Get it on the conversation. Uh, right now, though, it's time for your uh, topic of the day. I like this one. We'll have some fun with this one. What's a perfectly normal sentence that becomes super creepy when delivered in the wrong tone? Oh, boy. Honestly, anything. You can really do anything. If you say it creepily, mm -hmm. you, can be like, Ugh. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know? Hey, come on in. Hey, come on in. Right? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Hey, why don't you stop on by? Hey, why don't you? Stop on by. For Why'd you what? Say it like that. Why'd you say it like that? What? Right. Just inviting you to my place. I'm mm -hmm. just inviting you mm -hmm. to my place. What? Hey, you should. Hey, you should try this. Taste this. Taste. Hey, right uh, taste this. <laughs> you should try this. Taste this. Are you smiling? It's a good one. That's another Are you good. Smiling? One. I'm not I tasting definitely... that. Anything. I definitely think there's things that will sound more creepy. Uh -huh. You know, like a creepier than just that. Like, hey, my mom did this to me yesterday. I went and visited him for a second and uh, she comes up. She's like, all right, close your eyes. Hold your hand out. I'm like, don't no. That's it. She, and I did because she said it in an uptone where I'm like, ah, she's definitely not going to put like a spider or a snake in my hand. Because Right, right. She wasn't. If it was, she would be like, hey, yeah. <laughs> Put your hand out for a second. Yeah, I mean, that is it. Close your eyes. Like, okay, you're getting a surprise. But if you say, hey, close your eyes and put your hands oh, out. You know what I mean? It's like, absolutely not. It's gonna be something you want to stay the night? You come stay the night tonight. Go ahead. You can do it. You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to stay the night tonight? No, <laughs> no I don't. Absolutely not. Hey, go ahead. Make yourself comfortable. Go ahead. Make yourself comfortable. What? creep me out man you know what if you've seen the movie creep which i've only seen a half hour of it because i had to turn it up that was the one i was telling you That's about the other new day. one you were telling us to tell me about yeah yeah i don't yeah. know if it's new i just watched it on netflix oh, okay, okay. but uh, the, definition the definition of this, of this topic, topic anything yeah, that yeah, guy yeah. says in that movie <laughs> so so so, we're yeah. so creeped out and like yeah. ah, i couldn't watch it you know who's really good? It's speaking of just movies and actors who who is like perfect at this. Willem Dafoe. Yeah, yeah. Like Willem Dafoe, yeah, the way smile as things. You know, yeah. It's just it's 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 his tone. It's his cadence. So he's really good at delivering creepy lines. Mm -hmm. CJ had to go on. I have I I got something to show you. I've got something to show you. <laughs> uh, uh. I don't yeah, want it's general, isn't it? Right, right, right. It's, your, it's your genitals. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Keep your uh, we got some other really good ones here on uh, on Facebook. What's a perfectly normal sentence that becomes super creepy in the wrong tone? Uh, uh, John, this isn't a normal sentence. I went to the late movie with a box of tissues. Who said <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a, a normal sentence, John? Yeah, you're, you're not sentence. saying that nicely anyway. Okay. Anyway, anyway. Unless you're going to like. I don't know what's a cry movie like like like, like the Titanic, Titanic or you know something I mean? maybe but still, still yeah. though yeah. actually Titanic that works both ways because there's sad scenes and yeah right 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 which part of the movie do you need the tissues for <laughs> you tissues to the theater huh? you know he, hey, hey Pee Wee Herman relax yeah. a little bit all right yeah you know what you're not allowed in the theater anymore all right, right. you're not allowed in that theater uh Mark said come in the back door that's a good one that's a good one. It's all about tone. Just, just a phrase itself. I know. Even I don't even like saying that. Yeah, exactly. It's just, yeah. hey, hey, come through the back. Yeah. Um, Brooke had a good one. Where are you? 
All depends on tone. Uh, Where are you? Uh, you know what I mean? All depends uh, on tone. Creepy. Uh, um, it's like the chick from uh, Wedding Crashers. I will. Find oh yeah, you. I'll find you. Yeah, I'll find you. Yeah, like you know what you did, but I'll I find you. you. Oh, yeah, God. That's uh, Mike said we do a free lube job for that package. <laughs> so Mike's a trucker, so maybe there's something in the yeah, trucking yeah, yeah. world that's normal with that. But otherwise, yeah. that'll get you locked up. Most depends on where you're using that sentence. <laughs> You right. Know? That like if I said it just in my daily life, I, I there's the cops are being called. Mm -hmm. Um want to go camping? Yeah, want to go hey, want to do some camping? It's a good camping. one. Like hey, I love camping, These but if you say bags are you bringing? You want to go camping? No, I don't. No. No. Hey canteen boy, you want to go yeah. camping? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't do that skit today, by the way. Oh. Um Amanda said I'll see you soon or I'm always watching. I mean, I'm always watching is I know it's normal, but that always has kind of like I'm always, I'm, you know, that always has. But mm -hmm. uh, I'll see you soon. That's definitely a, a tone based sentence. See you soon. Uh, Tim had a good one. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Right. Very calm. Very nice. Hey, Carl. Nice. So good to see you. No, that's not, different. that's not creepy. But, but still, that's, that's good. It's, but that's, it's tone. It's tone. You know, it's, um, it's like the thumbs up. I mean, it's not creepy, but. Yeah. What are, are you being sarcastic or are you really giving me a thumbs up? Well, it depends if you're like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. You can definitely change it. Uh, Jeff said, this won't hurt much. How about yeah. the. What? This won't hurt much. Oh. Yeah. That's hey, kind of a scary get, movie kind of a line. You're going to feel, you're just going to feel a little pinch between your cheek and gum. All right. 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 It's, it's, Dennis says it all the time. Mm -hmm. Depends on the phrasing. How about this one? Yeah. The peach or the cucumber emoji. Normal. I mean, it's Could not be a just a peach. I'm talking about peaches. Yeah. Just talking yeah. about a cucumber. So I know we're getting into photos now, but in this day and age, the the emoji is part of our dialect. For, so, yeah, right. yeah. Much, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I send you a peach emoji, eggplant, and then squirt emoji, <laughs> it could be, I, I just watched, I just washed my basket of peaches and eggplants. Yeah. Or it's or, very sexual. Or, or I'm I'm soliciting prostitution. I want to do I things. Want, I want to do things. Uh, that's a, a good point. Yeah. Good point. Could be creepy. Um, let's see. Uh, Tim said you have nice skin. Okay, I get that. That is a completely normal sentence. But never once have I ever, other than maybe my wife. Even then, I'm like, you have nice skin. I don't. I don't know if I'm saying that. That's creepy. I think enough. Where you definitely don't want to say, you yeah. know. Yeah, I haven't heard that one much in the while, but no. oh, well, yeah, maybe yeah. like the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah like That's like 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 an older guy. Yeah, like like okay. 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 I'll be like with my wife around, and, and and there's some older guys. She's got some beautiful hair, doesn't she? Right. Just like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 She does. Yeah. You get real what close. What you thinking you? about? You got beautiful hair. Yeah, you know I mean, you know what I mean. Hey, stay away from hey, right. Charles. Well, over there, are you gonna shave it off my head and wear it yourself yeah, while in yeah, nightgown? Right. 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 I guess in front of the mirror. Depends on who you are. Right. Right. The right. type of smile you have behind the yeah. phrase. It's all tone. It's all. It's all way, the way you say it. The way you say it. What your history uh, is. Yeah. Where you from? Right. Uh, Trisha said, "I tried to get off early." Yeah, that's all. That's tone based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, anything, yeah. anything in that, like anything sexual that we have made, like phrases that are sexual or used sexually. Mm -hmm. You know, I think those. It depends on the phrasing. You know, she said it's something the other day in the car. I'm trying to think of it was. It was something similar to what you said before. Like, yeah, oh, it's coming up behind me hard. And I right. Look, I just like look at her. That's what it was. I just looked at her and she didn't budge because she didn't, you know, she doesn't have the brain. She, like, I, she's a female. She doesn't think she looks stupid. over and she's like, What are you looking at me for? I'm just like, Nothing. Nothing. Just nothing. Never mind. Say that again, but slower. <laughs> right. You know, I just left it alone. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, Santa Claus is coming to town. I mean, <laughs> you can ruin it. You can ruin, ruin it real it. quick. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see. Um, Shannon said, I know where you live. That's a good answer. Oh, no, I, I I know where you live. I know where you live. Ooh, yeah. I had yeah. one the other night. The what? other night. 
There was, uh, we had some people over at my sister's, um, was it last weekend? Yeah. Last weekend. And, uh, some a bunch of her friends, you know, around random people, people that she knows and some friends of friends as well. Yeah. And we get in her house right off the bat. Right. And he was this one random guy. It's going to go out to the back porch to smoke a smoke cigarette. cigarette. Uh-huh. Opens it, opens the slider. And he looks back and he's like, oh, you never keep your door locked. <laughs> Is it right? Hey, everybody kind of stopped and looked at him. It was like, and she goes, yeah, I do. I keep it yeah. locked all the time. I just unlocked it before we got here. Yes. And everybody during that night was like, why would you make that? Why would you make that comment? Yeah. You, you know? really put it out there, man. You what really put that? it out there what that you've that? noticed. That the door is not locked. Yeah. You're not going to come back later, are you? And check it. I do, murderer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. We got some other good ones. Lee said, wow, that's really moist. Again, all in the tone. Wow. It's yeah. really moist. Yeah, wow. It's really moist. That is really moist. Why you, why you say it like that? Um, <laughs> uh, Derek said, take a deep breath and relax. Yeah. <laughs> Phil had a good one. <laughs> Phil had a good one. Do you want fries with that? Again, right. You can say it creepily. Mm. You can. You can say it in a weird, creepy tone. You that is off putting. You want fries with that? Why are you saying it like that? No. Yeah, I've never heard that at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Take it number five. You, you guys fries. need a new teller. He's creeping yeah. everybody up. He is creeping everyone up. Um, Stacy had a good one. What, what you doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? huh? <laughs> that's, that's situational based. Situational based. Um. Uh. Yeah. Tim said this won't hurt much. Uh. Alan said, "Do you know how to drive a stick?" That's less commonplace, but in this day and age. But hey, you can say it creepily. Yeah, when that's somebody the, says this is not going to hurt much, it usually it means, means it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Why would you so say who, that? Who's it not going to hurt? Because I right. feel like I'm the one that's going to get hurt in this scenario. I'm a victim here. You're no. saying that. That's what it is. So, <laughs> see that needle, <laughs> everyone. It's all about tone. It's about it tone. Is. It's about cadence. Don't be as Willem Dafoe with it as you know. Much like you the other day when that lady was plog- uh, clogging up the aisle. Right, yeah. Okay. I, excuse I, me. You, know, you could have been like, hey, "Miss, excuse me, miss, please." No, that that bitch deserved it. I said it perfectly. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. All right. We'll be back with more. It's the Plan B Morning Show. <laughs> it's funny. I was, you know, when I came up with this topic. Oh, when I came up with that topic, this is that was one thing. I'm glad you brought that up. It, it's true. Maybe my yeah. tone was a little off-putting. <laughs> I can take a guess. I think it might have been. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Could you please move to the other side? <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, bitch. Could you please just, you know, as I push her head to the side. Right. (laughs) All right. Uh, Well, hey, thanks, everyone, for hanging out. We appreciate Mm -hmm. it. Good to be back with you. Um, And, yeah, we'll just see you back here tomorrow, Wednesday. So, all right. Later, gang.